Mr. Joe Douglas. Okay. So, hello, guys. My name's Nick, Nick Peterson, and this is the handsome Joe Douglas. Yeah, yes, you can laugh about that, mate. <laughs> uh, we were just having a discussion earlier about the, uh, the significance of physical well-being in terms of nutrition, in terms of just basic fucking fundamentals, exercise, all that stuff. And it's like, so what is it? Like exercise, drink lots of water, eat your vegetables, take your vitamins, blah, blah, blah. But yet why is it that this stuff, that was just the dog, why is it that this stuff, despite that its simplicity, it just soars over people's heads? Can you comment on that, please, Joe? Well, um, it's hard to tell exactly why for everyone, but I suspect one of the reasons is that everyone's rather busy at the moment. Mm -hmm. A lot of their capacity being used up, keeping themselves, you know, surviving day to day. So a lot of things that are really useful for yourself, myself, when that happens, is they're the first things to go off the uh, diary. You know, like um, like I think I told you, I've just started going swimming early in the mornings and swimming laps again, which is nice, but lots of people in the world can't do that. Yeah, because of this situation, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's all connected. So, you know, like balance, we've talked about balance before, and it's it's definitely that physical stuff and intellectual stuff and, you know, emotional stuff, family stuff, you know, it, work, life, everything about balance. How, where is this fantasy place where there's this balance? And I think even the pursuit of balance is a bit of a blooming delusion because you just have to get used to being exactly where you are rather than worrying about trying to be somewhere else or be something else. That's right. There's like a knack to it, isn't it? Yeah. There's a knack to being present. Yeah. And there's a knack to being present with like your uh, your physical self, Yeah. you know? Yeah, and yeah. if you, you can use everything, like this is how I've learned over the years, use everything as a tool to become more mindful. There's a lot of waffle talk about mindfulness. It's really blum and simple. You're just noticing what you're noticing, that's it. You're like invoking that part of you that's a, a witness part. That's... The trick about noticing that witness part, you know it's when you're truly mindful because it doesn't judge things to be good or bad. It's not stuck in this dualistic world this is good this is bad i like it it doesn't care about that stuff it just oh it does does it but what about political correctness it doesn't, care, it doesn't, care about doesn't it. give a fuck does no, it no. It far, no political correctness yeah no well you know political correctness is another way to shut down conversations that need to be had and if you shove, <laughs> shove things into the shadows then every other conversations never come out and they cause more and more problems like if you're you know fucking hell you're struggling and want to have a conversation, but there's the, the consensus at large says you can't speak about that stuff. You're going to shut yourself up. Yeah. Uh, Peer pressure will keep your mouth shut. So, so let's, let's, uh, let's get back to, um, I, I was going to say the word nutrition, right? But the physical body. So, so I saw you like six years ago and I remember like, I came to you, I was like, oh, I'm depressed. And by the way, um, anyone who's listening to this, I don't believe in depression anymore. Uh, and that's not through any of Joe's influence, just my opinion. Um, but there were some fundamental things you told me to do, like, all right, make sure you're drinking fuckloads of water. Are you getting out, getting sunshine? Are you exercising or, like, a.k.a. moving your body, which is... Our vessel what for, for you know what I mean. Yeah. We got a body, so use it. Yeah. Are you moving your body? Are you you know eating stuff that's okay? Mm. Are you you know what I mean? So can you comment on that? Just it's such a simple topic, yeah. you know. But like let's let's go over it. So well, what yeah. are the fundamentals of that stuff? The physical. So let's start with water. Yeah, I mean you you know it depends where you are, what climate you're in. We're in a pretty hot climate in Western Australia. So, you know, you want to be drinking at least a couple of litres of water a day. You know, that doesn't... At a minimum, I mean, yeah. I mean, I drink tea still, so... You're a diuretic. It's yeah, a diuretic. yeah, yeah, yeah. So got to drink even a bit more water when you're drinking tea. But um, it, that's also down to coming back to trusting yourself. Like, your body will tell you, when you really listen, your body will tell you. Like, it's no good waiting until you're thirsty before you start drinking water, because that, that's actually a bit late, really. But, you know, when you get tuned in, you'll know, you know. 
and you and you just you, have this craving yeah you, you know but it's not that. it's not thirst because yeah, i've I've heard I've heard from a particular source that thirst is the body's final indicator yeah, the then. final so the final <laughs> indicator yeah, yeah, yeah. that you need water mm. the final one yeah, yeah. and that and yet people are conditioned like no I only drink when you're fucking thirsty and you see and you see like the trust thing that we talked about earlier as well like if if you trust your body like your body will not stay you wrong if you learn to trust your body like if if you like i just mentioned earlier to you i was craving some spinach spinach so and I, mushrooms I knew, I knew my yeah. iron levels must be down a tiny bit i just know that from my past experience start to feel physically weak so i know i need to get a big dose of iron in but you craved spinach craved it, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you said you had spinach and mushrooms yeah. before and by the way yeah. ladies and gentlemen joe is how old are you, how old young are you? Fifty six? Fifty five. Fifty five, mate. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this model. <laughs> Fifty five and he just did a kilometer of swimming the other day. Yeah, this morning. At six in the morning. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, you know, if I if I'm twenty seven here now, if I can't do that, then fucking God help us all. Yeah. And so I think it was a day you did the swim the day afterwards. You said that you just fucking craved spinach. Yeah, and you had spinach. Yeah. You had, it was 500 grams of spinach yeah. and mushroom. Yeah, yeah. So trust in the body. Trust your body, yeah. 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 And you say how the trust thing kicks in from early on, like like with, with all the emotional stuff. If, you, if you've got a family that doesn't like you demonstrating sadness, they'll shut you down to feel sadness. If, you, if they don't like you feeling anger, they'll shut you down. Or if they don't like you feeling anything, anything authentic, they'll shut you down. They'll shut you down. And that tends to be what tends to happen like, uh, at large. So it starts off in families and it spreads out the school, community, nationally. Different countries seem to have different things they're more comfortable with, more emotions they're comfortable with. And now we're in this pandemic. Well, Can't be a coincidence. Summer going on, right? Summer going on. Radio. All right, is there, um, you talk quickly about exercise, and then we'll wrap this up. So moving the body. Yeah. So I've noticed just through, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, I've been hanging out with Joe for about four or five weeks now, and I've noticed this gentleman, every time I'm over his house, he's always doing some sort of gardening or labor using a chainsaw or, or <laughs> you know, doing, doing something, yeah. doing something that is physical. Yeah. And... It's kind of a taboo to exercise, isn't it? Or move the body, I isn't like, it? I like it. it's a good reminder. It's a good reminder that I'm alive. And um, but yet you're not this fitness model that goes to the gym no. and does all this shit. All but yet, but too, yeah. I'm telling you, he, this man, he is fit. He is fitter than me. I'll tell you right now, you know. And he doesn't go to any gym or anything. And he just went to the this oh. pool the other day. I and, the gym. I haven't been for a little while. All right. Well, there's no, <laughs> no need to show off, but yeah. <laughs> but it's, but I notice because maybe your property or the place you live in, you, you do quite a lot of physical activity a day. Yeah. So someone who claims they're quote unquote depressed, yeah. can you comment on that? Well, I, the physical exercise. Yeah, yeah I, get the, I get the symptoms of depression. And um, I think the antidote to feeling depressed is... Uh, is to do things like exercise again to drink plenty of water do something that you love doing get get some creative kind of hobby going learn something new you know all this stuff it's very simple stuff basic stuff yeah. but yet people don't do it i don't know if they yeah know they don't but it seems yeah. like they don't you know and if and once you got yourself into that kind of routine that same like the other stuff seems to fall away then you know naturally yeah you don't give it too much energy and my, my feeling around depression, like I'm not un, underestimating the symptoms because the symptoms are pretty crappy when someone's got a lot of that going on. Yeah. But I, I think, um, you know, it could be lots of reasons, but like probably worth asking yourself. If you're the sort of person who's feeling depressed, like are you, are you suppressing stuff? This is, my, this is what I've seen with a lot of people over the years. If, if they're really depressed... I prefer to think of it as suppression. So you're suppressed. Right, what are you suppressing? Is it anger? Is it sadness? Is it grief? Is it shame? What is it like, you know? 
Is it just over some shit that happened in traffic earlier might, might and you're pretending be, to ignore it? It even be joy that you're suppressing. You don't know, but all this takes ah, energy to push stuff down. Joy. So the more suppressing you get what's really going on, like the more you realise everything, all emotions are okay. There's no such thing as a bad emotion. But out there, people tell you there is, and only happiness is the good emotion. That's complete bollocks. Like, Well, the thing is, the thing, sorry to interrupt, but the thing is, it's like, they say happiness is a good emotion, but what they do is they taboo, they taboo yeah. feeling the other emotions. They're all really good. They might and that's the so thing, good, yeah. Good. So you can only they're feel good. one, which they're is happiness. Something. Yeah. Something. So if, you, if you've if you gone through some loss, like you, that's what you need to feel sadness and grief about. You've got to feel it. And if, you know, if you're feeling... Um, you want something to change outside that you feel powerless about. It's good to get in touch with some anger, but it's not good. Because ang ang anger, anger. See, you know, we. In, in fact, this uh, this might be another video, right? But anger is very much. Um, I've noticed. Um, it has such a bad rep to it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Anger. Well, we'll definitely have to do you another know, video on anger. You know, yeah, we'll yeah. do another. It's yeah. not, yeah, but um, it's it's like anger is a step to empowerment Init in, initially, but then it should dissipate into. Yeah. I did yeah. one a few years ago, and uh, now now we're going to get on and do a few more of these. So I'll update that anger one, and um, we'll yeah, talk, maybe talk about some different stuff around anger. All right, mate. All right, all right, Joe. See you, mate. I'll see you soon. See you guys. Bye bye.